Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao playing uh, Paper Mario. I stayed at this mystical prologue screen in this sea of gray. Let's just get going. I pressed a button. Yeah, so last time we went to like a party sponsored by the royalty of the Mushroom Kingdom. Then Bowser did his thing. He got powered up and we fell out of the castle. And we landed where uh, Yoshi slept aeons ago. Here we got all these star people, like right out of Ristar. Not Ristar. What's the word I'm thinking? Star, star me, Starfy, Starfy. You kind of they give me that vibe. Star people. Oh, that text is hard to read. There's like a whole bunch of like noise over it. But I think that's on purpose. Hopeless, all is lost. You see, there's like a weird, like, like a like static effect on them. Maybe that's just, you know, the staticky realm of the stars. Uh, in his hand, let's try to revive him. Let's just, just find a green mushroom. Or use your powers. It's fine. That's more dramatic. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna wake up. So the star people here, the star family gathered. Yeah, like, everything feels very Yoshi Island here. There's a little... Let's see, yeah, yeah, she, her text is normal. Wait, you can't see the Mario? Okay, you didn't recognize the Mario, that's fair. It really does. Uh, there must be Mario Con nearby, it must be a cosplayer. Goompa. This is, this is kind of funny. You gotta make Goomba puns if you're a Goomba. Alright, so... Another meeting with the stars! <laughs> Immediately after. Hi, old star. Star spirit. Alright. Concerns a princess on the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh-huh. Okay. Thus why everything is staticky. The staticky in-world, the... Uh, Shooting Star Summit. All right. Sounds good. And uh, there we go. I did not do anything there. He woke up on his own. So now I would sit down. Now the game starts for real, but really we're still in the prologue, <laughs> which is funny to think about. Oh. Okay, so that I did not know, but he would not know. How long has it been? Goomba Village. I mean, is that... That's not really a village. <laughs> that's just a rural house. <laughs> Alright. Thinking pose. That is accurate. Dreams do not exist in the Mario realm because it's an actual place you can visit. Okay, oh wait, so that's just a thing though? Okay. That wasn't the first thing you thought about, huh? Ah, that's fair too, actually. Like, if I say, hey, did a guy with a monocle show up? Like, those exist in my real world, but it's more likely that it was a dream. You can't fault him there. And see you recover. And the Goombas would be happy if you pay them a visit. That that was a Mario jump. Alright, I'm back in control. I got a spin. I got this. And you can do that. Alright, I did that. I did all the buttons. Okay, anytime I'm tired, a good nap. Yeah, naps are good. Alright. Alright, star so uh that 3D move around the house is so good. We saw that during that little, like, intro thing yesterday. Land sakes! I woke up, I can't tell I was when we were just lying there asleep for so long. Because they don't have room to put, the piece kind of uplifted, that's funny. And here's you! 
Yeah, I, I've heard the name Goombario before. Like, I'm... He's probably gonna be a companion or something, right? I just don't really know anything beyond that. Alright, well... Okay. That is accurate. Every time you play a Mario game and you beat it, it's canon. But when you game over, it's not. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> And then, of course, you didn't open your eyes. I don't, yeah, so how long? So this is your village? It's like, oh, that's probably a save box. It's like this house and this house. Let's call it a village. It's like a crossroad, if anything. That must be Goombelder? Goompa? Or just Gooma. Oh, you're the grandma. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Were you called like that when you were a child? Also, I'm not looking at you while you're talking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't move! I can't move to face you! And this is a really cool, like, neat little house design. Like, it does feel lived in. Like, it also is kind of way too large. But, oh, that must be Goompa. I startle you, that's what I do. Uh, yeah, Goompa, I'm the Goompa. So, yeah, no, it all makes sense. Sure. I'm jumping on your veranda that you're fixing while you're working on, like, the guardrail or whatever. It's fine, here's a stove. I'm gonna stove it up. So I've been kind of wondering about this. Like, it's something I realized yesterday. The game is called Paper Mario because, like, you got this 2D sprite that is literally 2D in a 3D world, right? But, like, the game doesn't really seem to do a big deal about this. There isn't like a big intro, it's like, Welcome to the world of paper, a sub-world Mario... You know, side universe or anything. It's just, no, this is it. Live with it. I love that. Alright, your text has not updated since I talked to your grandparents. Which is not too unusual. That kid is freaking out. That kid was too dangerous. Alright. Uh, sorry about that. What is wrong with you? You got a mustache? Okay, I thought you had a mouth situation going on. Earthquake, okay, all right. Right, the castle was ripped out of the ground. Uh, must have sent tremors everywhere. Like, realistically speaking, if such an event were to happen, the damages would be felt for so far on the globe. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually read Toad Town. Yeah, alright. So I didn't fall away that far, which is fine. Alright, well everyone here is extremely pleasant. And he... Yee hee hee! Oh. Okay, that's not a fun yee hee hee. Well, she's having fun! Yee hee hee. So it's all good. <laughs> now it's bleh! That's right, I have no fall damage. This is not a polygon game. I remember you from um, Kami Koopa, yeah, from uh, Toadette Strikes Back. See, that's what I meant yesterday. Like, I've got glimpses of this world here and there during, like, the whole time and playing games on the internet. We try to say, okay, all right. Well, if you say it's useless, ridiculous, and laughable, I guess I won't try. Thanks for putting the word out for me. I appreciate it. Even you can deal with this time. Oh, no. And here's a gift. All right. Oh, wait, it's going to be a boss. Or no, it's a... Yeah, it's going to be a... It's going to be a fight. We're like having... Oh, it's a big box? That's in the way. Rude. I guess I can't navigate around that yellow block that was put there in the middle of the road. I guess my journey is over. That's what it takes. You just fix that gate. <laughs> yeah, honestly. So, what's the situation now, though? Technically, still castle and princess was in it, but I guess that counts. Yeah, this could be a problem. I would love to do that. I really would. Just 
kind of slightly distracted because the image in OBS seems blurrier than it is in real life for me. But I'm hoping that's just OBS being weird. Oh! Hey, Goompa's big hammer! Alright, we got hammer now. Oh. Well, alright, you're not gonna... I feel like this problem was very quickly solved. There, there was no real problem here at all, <laughs> turns out. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Can I... This vase is giant, and it's just used old flowers. That's... Well, well, well uh, yeah, okay. The veranda's just not there. <laughs> That's silly. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Everything's just getting worse and worse for everyone. Good thing I'm inexplicably 2D, though. <laughs> I love that. I heard this song. All right, hey, uh, things aren't going too swell, huh? Great crashing noise. Yeah, no, yeah. It was a bad time for everyone. Can go back home because that block's in the way. But you got a hammer, or so I was told. Uh, all right, so blocks exist upon the world. Uh, that was the thing in uh, Mario RPG, the one I played, Mario and Luigi. Like, using the hammer in the world? I'm gonna guess it's something similar. But you don't have it. It flew off your non-hands while you fell out of the veranda. Alright, hammer quest! There's a heart that- Oh, I got Grandpa with me now. Does that mean anything? Uh, I got this screen that I didn't really look at. We got items. We got no items. We got spirits. Oh. So, uh, I think a big part of the game is gonna be collecting these. Just a weird feeling I got. Hey, that's pretty neat. We got Goomba Village. Does it go... Th there's arrows there. Oh. It's a big map, actually. So that's probably end game, maybe? Brit? Br maybe. Alright. Is this Yoshi's Island? It's the vibe I'm getting. So this is the scope of the world, or at least a hint of it. Cool. All right, well, here I am with Grandpa. I would love to get, do I have a, did I, do you have a butt stomp? I remember seeing a butt stomp in the, in the, in the, in the thing, but I guess we're not butt stomping him, and now old man is kind of stuck behind blocks. Silly old man. Ah, somewhere close by. Oh, that's okay. Thank you for speaking in images. It's very helpful. Alright. Uh, searching tutorial. Here's money here. Alright, and it'll keep appearing even if you can't do anything about it. Got it. Feel like we'll have the ability to break these blocks maybe once I find a hammer. Why am I insisting on never saving like this? I don't know. Oh, that was a- That was a fake bush and had a hammer in it! <laughs> Smash the blocks, fantastic. That's a hammer. That's what's been hinted at. Uh, oh, pressing B. All right, so dedicated, yeah, money tree. Uh, dedicated hammer button. It is time to exude violence. Wow, there is like no resistance from that brick. Like you just go right through it. Beep, 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 beep. I've heard the song before. Get out of here, block! You're polygons! You don't belong here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. This block here? That's right. Tying a real bad time as I'm like a bad time aiming for it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not saving apparently. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. We're doing that! Oh no! Something happened. He's rolling! It's a little, little baby Koopa. Okay, it's just like, it's literally still in his egg. Okay, well, um... We're gonna start crying at the feet of Master Junior Koopa. I'd rather not. This is really awkward. So you're probably gonna teach me how to fight properly? Yeah, yeah, he's the boss of a neighborhood gang. Oh no! A, a gang of young hoodlums. Mind, you can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up and don't take any lip boost. Sounds great. Uh, so I have just a hammer option, and I can go like, hey, I'm gonna hammer. All right, I hammered you on the face. That wasn't really boosted though. I did one damage. Wow, the game is really happy about what happened. 
Yeah, it just kind of landed on me. That was very rude. Like, am I supposed to do something? I don't know. This is, uh... Like, what happens if I try to hop? I mean, a mighty hop. It does the same thing as a hammer. Alright, he's mad. He's getting warmed up. Alright. Great. Mm-hmm. This is, uh... Action and packed. <laughs> someone does a thing, then someone does another thing. Oh no! Oh, it's a special attack. Full power! Oh, he's got the movies. Yeah, the two damage. That's danger! That's scary. Alright. Get out of here. Okay. Alright. Is it possible to even lose this? I have two star things, two star orbs. Star points. You get star points every time you beat an enemy, so XP. I got it, I got it. Okay. So you need to fight this boss 50 times to get a level up. We did it! Oh, no! Okay, it's like, okay, one big orb is several tiny ones. I, I didn't know that. How would you know that? Alright, well, that was like our second tutorial bot. <laughs> this is silly. We did it, though. We won! Alright, so now I can bop this all I want. Get out of here. Uh, that's right, I got that money. Now I'm gonna smash these runes. You can't do anything about it. Yeah, that's right, you saw me do that. I've worsened everyone's life. What's this? Okay, free healing. If you hit this block, your HP, heart points. That's what HP means, specifically. Cemento! We need to upgrade our hammer. We need to upgrade our hammer. There's nothing you can do against the might of Cemento. I resist that thought. Alright, so there's a spring there, and there's a path here. What do I want? I mean, this is gonna lead to here, and that's gonna lead to up here. So that's guess that's a path back to the village, perhaps? I don't know. Like, that's where- oh, okay. No way. There's a fire flower. Fire power! Fire that turns all enemies with fireballs. Attack power three. So that's an item. To attack enemies to recover HP and to do other few things. Okay, so it's just- it's an item. Find straight up, and you press that button to see what you have, so I do that, and I say I have a fire flower. Sweet. And then if I try to use it, because it's a battle item, it ain't happening. Fantastic. Alright, so explore around. I don't know about that, that's pretty scary. Heads up! Uh-huh. Attack you without hesitation, that's not very surprising. You get the first strike, which seems great if battles are just kind of exchanging punches to the noggin. Yeah, like, there's no doubt of that. I'm trying to search this bush, but it's not happening. There's like a diamond up there, there's a mesita. Yeah, that's right, first strike! Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, it's just straight up like a free attack. And then I popped on his head, I broke his neck like that, and I get two little star points. All right, that was a, this was a lot of lo whoa, jeez, then like a whole bunch of stuff happened. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't know how to get there. I mean, like a local map, not like a world map, just like a map of here. Well, there's ledges up there doing lit. Oh, you got a spike. That's right, you got a spike on your head. See, you got to make sure you understand. Yeah, I noticed. I did see the spike. I pointed out like five time. All right, so uh, don't jump. You want to hammer. I did it. I figured that one out. There we go. Right in his face. Fell on his back. I'm eating his soul. It is mine to absorb. This is true life now. I probably should get that money. Alright, so this is the path that zigs. Whoa, I jumped up into him. Okay, that was a stumble. Hammer won't reach enemies in the air. Okay. I see. This is good advice says to me the guy giving me the advice wants to make sure I understand. Is there like a defense mechanism or is it just if a hit's coming at you, you're, you're taking that hit, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna hit the Paragoomba and now we get two normal Goombas. Unbelievable. But like once they're here, it's like whatever, you do whatever you want. Like it stops mattering because they're just, they're just normal. So high enemies you can't hammer, spike enemies you can't jump. 
If they're just a walking acorn on the ground, whatever, no one cares. Do whatever you want. Follow your dreams! Oh, he's exhausted. He's a tired little Mario. Adjust his hat and everything. Uh, but you dropped a heart, uh, which heals for one. Very, very complex concepts. So I don't know if I... Oh, wait. Is this going to lead me up to where I want to be? It's like that weird, like, diamond thing on the ground. So how do I do, like, I don't know, like, this whole encounter lasted <laughs> like 10 seconds. Very glad it happened. It changed my life for the best. Oh, I mean, you get money. I don't know what the money situation is gonna be. All right, but this leads us to the star piece. That seems important. Okay. <laughs> it seems important <laughs> to be figured out. All right, I've abandoned Grandpa Goomba behind me. So now I can properly run away from him and just do whatever I want. Oh no, he's catching up with his mighty Goomba shuffle. Hey, we're town again. That's right, everyone's alive. We have to use a gate. Okay, so I guess this is if I somehow manage to leave you behind. Uh, it's a good thing that was never my intention. Wow! Oh, look at that, she's in tear. She is like legit worried. Yeah, everything's alright. You got local superhero Mario like this right there. Even though, like, you know, he has the ability to leap. That's a good power. Oh, sweet. I mean, I, I'm, I was just gonna keep your hammer. Like, if you're gonna add an extra gift to that, like, I'm gonna take it. This thing, the Goomba, has, like, hippo teeth. It's really odd. It's like, like, or orc's tusk, but it's like molars. Anyways. Always seem to beat up your enemies, so you work out. You know, it's all natural! Oh, really? Big muscle singular, because I, I don't know. Well, no, even if you're just a torso with feet and a head, you would have multiple muscles. Head bunk. All right, well, that happened. That's right, I was supposed to read all of that with a rat beat. I'm sorry for failing you. <laughs> Whoa! Power jump badge. Stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. Oh, they're gonna teach me about badges. People have been talking about badges. Where this will be able to do a power jump, which means we'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump. Listen here and listen well, you'll be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. Better try first playing badge on, taking them off. Alright, bad juggling. Sure, go ahead and tell me all about it. And that will be the end of today. Alright, I have to press start right here in the menu. Uh, here's how you put on the take off badges. Oh, now there's a new badge thing there in the, in the menu. Yeah, okay. Press A to go to badge. Press A to go to badge. And then you take badge and it takes one BP. I have three BPs. Alright. Okay, and I'm not allowed to just put it here. Alright. This reminds me an awful lot of, um... What's the game? The bunny game I played. Uh, Rib Rabby Ribby? Ribby Rabby? Rabby Ribby. Uh, there was a badge system where you had, like, an amount of, like, badge points, basically. They had that balance and, like, different badges had different weight and all that. Flower points to use this power jump thing. Oh! Okay, so that's more a spell, then? Well, there's are not only, but also FP, their lifesavers. So it's not just that I'm stronger, it gives me access to an optional stronger attack. Okay. Uh-huh. Got this Mosey remix of the song. With no hands. Alright, so you're telling me to keep it. Okay, I was just gonna keep it anyways. Alright. It's alright. You're old. I get it. Everyone's gonna put in their little thing. It's fine. 
So you're gonna... That's what I was wondering, because yeah, I, I've heard the name Gumbario before, so I figured he was gonna follow me, and I guess... Mario just accepts to bring this child along. Seems like a terrible idea, but sure. Like, Mario does not seem to have any say in this. This is not, yeah, this is happening, buddy. Whoa! Look at that screen. Have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. Okay, when you're interested, just ask him. Also helpful during battles. He can attack with head bonk, or he can tell you about enemies' features and HP using his paddle ability. He got scanned! Okay. He gets scanned right in the early game. Okay. That makes sense. Worthy companion. Alright, you guys have fun. That's all good. So, I feel like the game's gonna be starting now. Like, this, like, end of prologue is what it feels like? I don't know. Uh-huh. Can you do that, too? Ought to take a rest at a toad house. That doesn't even happen automatically. Oh, and you speak for me, too. Don't cause Mario any trouble. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. It's from a place of love. Although I still think it's kind of weird how you're just kind of like tagging this on me. So that's what Tattle looks like. You can't tell if I did anything or not, but I pressed a button. <laughs> Alright, that big tree near, yeah, is a great place to get goom nuts. Do we want goom nuts? Probably. Uh, like, there's a tree with goom nuts. Where's a tree? Looking for tree. What's this? This is... I don't know what that is, but it is. Alright, so we get the money bush. Sorry about that. Pocket Pops here is just kind of bouncing around. Alright. I'm gonna get some goom nuts! Yeah, that's right! I got that. I, oh, the game just immediately... I Like, I didn't even press a button. I pressed a direction. And it just kind of whisked that away. Whizzed a little explanation test away. I don't know what's up with that. So I wanna heal. Yeah, that's right. I will do that. I am taking a nap. Uh, I, whoa! Where Goomba go? Just slip under the cover in the most literal way possible. <laughs> That's funny. And then Goombario's back. Don't ask about it. Don't question it. Alright, so we're gonna save, finally. And then next time, the adventure can kind of start for- I don't know why it's like so framey here. Right? Like, look at that. I don't- but like, as I said, according to everything here, everything should be working fine. Anyway, yeah. Game is over, status will return to what was the last time you saved, and you can continue to play. Find this block along the way, remember to hit it to save! That's how it works. Then you save, and then it's saved. A very simple, very quick process.